Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the Caxor DOS virus. Now before we run it for the first time, we'll just take a quick look to get a good estimate of the speed of the system. You can see it takes about half a second or so to complete a directory listing of the DOS directory. And even less time to do of the root directory. So we'll go ahead and run it. And Caxor will display this fake prompt, pretending to be 3D Sound Adjust Program version 1.0. Now while it displays this, it infects the master boot record and every time you access a floppy disk it will infect files on that floppy disk as well as the boot record of the floppy disk. So, we'll press escape to get out of this. So, now we'll see that you can tell it's really significantly slower. I mean it's taking probably three to four seconds to do a directory listing rather than half a second. So it's really hogging the system resources. It will also infect any .com or .exe files that are run and so yeah just really slows down the system and activates on March 3rd as long as the year is 1995 or later I believe so we'll go ahead and restart and you won't need to run an infected file after a restart because as the computer boots up it will read the master boot record which will load the virus which will cause it to be present in memory every time you boot up so, boot record infectors are quite uh, destructive, so, as you can see here, its payload is this crazy screen shaking thing going on here. This is really one of the first payloads I've seen that actually make me dizzy to look at, especially doing directory listings, this is just crazy. Alright, brace yourselves, this is going to get crazy. It's like earthquake mode for MS-DOS or something. So it causes all the text to phase up and down and come back together and this is pretty annoying you wouldn't be able to stop this so basically work would be impossible on March 3rd if you go into edit we'll see that it changes the way it shakes the screen and now it's just moving up and down like we're running MS-DOS on some ship or something and when you exit out of it now DOS is much more usable but still pretty annoying because everything you try to run will move up and down like this. Ah, check disk. So yeah, that's about it for the Kaxor DOS virus.